Hey there guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for all the positive love that I've been, positive love. There's not negative love, is there? Or is there? I don't know. It's been great to see some of your creations from home that you've been sending in and uh, messaging me with. That's great, keep that up. I hope you're not sick of those videos because we've got another one coming up today, right now. I've gone a little bit MTV, haven't I, with my hands. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. We got another one coming up right now. This is what it's all about. I need to stop doing that. That's not me, as you guys know. This is an important one for any Anybody who's in lockdown, which is all of us right now. Were you even in lockdown if you didn't make a banana bread? And of course it's pretty good because it's Mary Berry. When did she ever lead us wrong? In Mary we trust. We're gonna keep the ingredients simple as well. You don't need very much for this. You're gonna need 100 grams of butter, 175 grams or six ounces of caster sugar. Yes, only two eggs, two ripe bananas, 225 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and two tablespoons of what the Germans call Milch. Don't actually know if they do call it that. That's just what I call it when I go to Germany. I still don't have baking parchment. I keep forgetting to buy it. So what I've actually done, and it's worked quite well for me in the past, is just taken a loaf tin. You will need a loaf tin for this because you're making a banana a loaf. I haven't got baking parchment, so I have literally, as always, just pre-buttered that. Once you've preheated your oven to 180 degrees, you want to just take a mixing bowl, a big old mixing bowl like this one, and you want to put your ingredients in. It's really that simple. That's step one done. You just put it all in the bowl. Easy. Mary makes it easy for you, doesn't she? So there you go. It's all in the bowl. Now you want to take your electric whisker, ideally with whisks in the end. I haven't put them in there yet. And you want to just whisk it all together. Make sure it's nice and, uh, you know, it looks like a cake mixture. We've all, we've all licked the bowl. We know what the mixture looks like. Now you want to pour it into your pre-prepared uh, loaf tin and then it goes in the oven at 180 degrees. Hopefully if you were listening you've already preheated the oven. If you weren't listening I can't help you. So once it's in the loaf tin, like so, it then goes into the oven for around an hour. You wanna keep an eye on it, obviously you don't wanna overdo it and you still want it to be nice and kind of gooey and warm inside, uh, but you certainly don't wanna burn your banana bread. You have to make yourself a banana bread if you're in lockdown, you have to read a book um, and you have to, I don't know, go for a 5K run. So if you've done all those things, well done. If not, why not start with a banana bread? Let's stick it in the oven. So while the banana bread's in the oven, I thought I'd just have a little, have a chat, say hi, and uh, let you know what's going on with us. Not a lot, <laughs> we're locked in like everyone else. My wife, for those of you that don't know and that are new to this channel, is a violin teacher and a really good one at that. She has been teaching her lessons via uh, Skype and Zoom and all these different things since the social distancing measures came into place. So she's been doing that and she's had a lot of uptake on that. So for her, it's, it's relatively business as usual. Uh, for myself, I had a couple of people asking me recently if YouTube and vlogging and all of that is my job. I don't get paid to do this. This is kind of just me doing it out of a labor of love. Well, at first it was out of boredom and uh, I just carried on because I've been in enjoying it very much. For me, it's certainly not about the money, but equally, wouldn't it be great to do something you loved and get paid to do it? So I'm enjoying exploring this whole world and this whole opportunity to do these things right now that I have. Uh, so we'll see where it takes us. But I'm also a full-time student as well, so I'm busying myself. You guys see a very small portion of my day. I am writing essays, I'm kind of reading books and, and learning things, you know, helping Jo with her business and working on the flat painting and things, you know, is it's, I'm keeping busy. I'm certainly not just sat around all day watching Netflix. By the way, if anybody has any really good ideas as to what we should be watching, we are open. Lots of people have been suggesting Tiger King as an option. Um, I did watch the first two episodes of Tiger King. I wouldn't say it was my cup of tea, really. I can see why people like it. It was intriguing. You know, you see the trailer and you think, oh, that looks 
weird. And then you watch it and it is quite weird. We watched The Stranger, of course, everyone's seen that. If you haven't seen The Stranger, I, I, that I would recommend. Although the ending, disappointing, I thought. I thought it was rushed. So yeah, let us know in the comments below or uh, drop us a line some other way if there's some great program that we ought to be watching. I just thought I'd have a look, see how the banana bread was doing, because, you know, timer hadn't gone off, but I thought I'd keep an eye on it and just do do the right thing. Doesn't look like I did do the right thing, uh, but you certainly don't want to burn your banana bread. Not sure what's gone wrong there. <laughs> I literally followed the recipe to the letter. Let's see if we can save it. Normally, my recipes go well. It still looks okay. I think it's probably still going to be edible, but that's not something you want to have to clarify, is it, when you make something? You don't have to say to people, I think it's all right, I think it's okay. But there we go. That's the finished banana bread. In light of all of this, what I would say is it probably doesn't need an hour. 100, preheat the oven to 180 degrees, which I did. Bake for about one hour until well risen and golden brown. It's weird. How long have I got left on the timer? You have seven minutes left on your one hour timer. So it was right at the end of the timer as well. We were within the last 10 minutes. I apologize. I've led you astray for the first time. Well, Mary Berry, Mary Berry. I, I said, and of course it's pretty good because it's Mary Berry. When did she ever lead us wrong? But today, Mary, today, today you've let us down. Okay, guys, I think I managed to save it. As you can see, the inside remains unaffected. And I have actually just tried a little bit off camera because if it was disgusting, I don't want to gag on camera, but it's not disgusting. It tastes damn good. It's still warm. The chocolate chips, you can see, have flended nicely. I put those in as a bit of a late addition to the recipe. Had them in the cupboard, I thought I'd chuck them in the bowl. I would have liked it a little bit lighter than that, but don't let it deceive you because this is still very tasty and I'm still going to eat all of it. Well, share it with the wife, obviously but let's give it a taste. There you can see, it doesn't taste burnt at all. It just tastes chocolatey, banana-y, warm, slightly moist. You want it to be a little bit moist in there, don't you? Quite dense, you know? That's, that's what banana bread should look like, I think, inside. When I came out of the oven, it looked as though it was ruined, but I'm happy. I'm happy with it. You may as well leave me to finish this because I'm gonna stand here and eat the majority of it before Joe finishes teaching violin. Please do subscribe via the link below. That would be great if you could do that if you haven't already. The content is coming thick and fast just the way I like it, hopefully just the way you like it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and uh, enjoy your banana bread. Bye-bye. Don't know what that was, but anyway, bye.